What's going on guys? This is uh right now fan seventy three. Uh I was uh cleaning some cages and uh refilling some water dishes and my uh heteroscogia Michaelata got out and here it is under the uh under the little table. I thought, well, you know, this is the opportune time for a little video. Uh uh, this is, I've had this back when I first started uh, collecting uh, teas, and uh, this is actually a wild-caught specimen I got from General Exotics. Uh, I don't usually recommend the uh, General Exotics. Most of their stuff is wild-caught, and I've had a, about half of what they sent me died, but uh, this one's doing pretty good. And I also weigh, uh, had ordered a Cobalt Blue, and uh, she's doing pretty good, but uh, this one seems to be surviving. I'll uh, probably get her in a minute. <laughs> And uh, here's my Pocalifera fasciata, about a six and a half, uh, seven inch specimen eating a uh, super worm. Having a hard time with the video quality here. But she's really pretty laid back for a uh, uh, Pocalifera species, especially a fasciata. I could probably handle her, but I'm not that drunk. <laughs> Got a few new additions. This was actually a uh, little freebie I had. This is a Nandu Colorado Velosus. Uh, Brazilian black and white, uh, about an inch specimen, looks a little bigger than uh, on the video than it really is. Uh, here's a uh, Nandu Carapoensis, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. A Brazilian red, it just molted. Finally looks starting to look like a tea. Doesn't care too much for the light though. Now here's uh, one of my, something I've wanted for a long time. It's actually a, uh, I can't think of a scientific name right off the bat, but uh, a Costa Rican tiger rum. Supposed to be real laid back. Alright guys, just wanted to give you a uh, tiny update. I guess I'll try to get that uh, HMAC back in the cage. Uh, wish me luck. Appreciate it. Bye -bye.